Yeah. Nigeria is especially bad for numbers because our numbers are not being captured. Our numbers are not funneled through the right channels. Yeah. Uh, take, for example, how many people are on Apple Music? Very, very few. Very few. Not up to 500,000 in this country. But the artists still want to get to Apple Music Top 100 chart in Nigeria that are not streaming the music. <laughs> so, yeah, of course, the farmers will make money. <laughs> Yeah, they, they have to eat. And, and so 500,000 people. Yes, Audio Mac has presented the, giving us a proposition where you can stream music for free, but it's literally free in, the, in, all, in, in all the right sense of it. It's literally free. Boom, play, similar. So where, where, where do you get these numbers from? Afrobeats to the World is giving us numbers now. So... You can, for those who have found connectivity in other markets, you're able to bring these numbers together. But where do you get these numbers from? So what I would advise a lot of artists is, okay. you have, first, first, and this will, this will sound a bit okay. negative. Okay. Not everybody will blow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the- Sad reality. Yeah, it's a sad reality. Lagos is pretty much a cemetery of like talent, failed attempts to fly everywhere. Not everybody will blow. And when you look at it, we don't have a lot of, and when you're being honest with yourself and look at the numbers of blowing, the numbers of talent blowing, we have on paper, they say we have over 200 million people. Yeah. Uh, give and take, I'm going to pull this out of my ass. Give or take, we might have over a million talents, mm -hmm. a million artists. Yeah. In this country. In this country. A million musicians. Ask your security guy. He has a song. Everybody's an artist. Yeah. A million artists. And then at the top, how many artists can you comfortably say, let's say, how many artists are at the top of their game now, at the top of the... You can count beyond 15. Hmm. 15. You can count it, it is, hand. It's less than 1%, yourself. like less yeah. than 0 0.5%. 0 0.000000 percent of all the total number of people who make music in this country. And then when you look at um, uh, talent output rates, the, amount of, the average amount of artists that we mint in this market, we mint only two a year. Some years we have none. Sometimes we might have, in, on very rare occasions, I think 2016, 17, we had three artists once. Three artists come out in the same year. Yeah. But after that, some years zero. We've had a year where it was zero. Then mostly one one. That but average two two artists a year. Last year we had Charlie Poppy and Odumodu Black. Black. No other artist out of a hundred out of out of a million artists. We only had two artists become successful on the mainstream. On mainstream. Level. So that in itself. So always. When you work, I know we all hope to be the guy who blows. And I, I, I know we all say this year is our year. That's why I stop telling people uh, you're going to blow. I'll just tell you, work hard, eh? And <laughs> 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 because it's a grim reality in front of me. And so always understand that while you're making music now, find a way to, find a way to diversify the things that bring joy to you. It's the most, it's the realest thing like anybody can ever tell you. While you're making this music, pouring your life into it, I've been here to see three generations of artists at the top come and go. But I've also been here to see three generations of hundreds of artists who have come and they have disappeared without going through the scene. Mm. A lot of them would find their joy somewhere else. A lot of them would find happiness in different things that are music adjacent. A lot of them will find things that are not related to music at all. Yeah. But they find a way to still self-actualize in, the in the way that they can. And then the older you get as an artist, the older you get, the more your bills pile up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The older you get, if this thing does not make money, you eventually have to make money for yourself. So what you can do is throw, make as much art as you can Give the best account of yourself. Throw things at people, and hope that it's in the hope that it sticks. If you can, to give yourself an advantage, find a money bag to finance everything you're going to do. Because without money, you're 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 pretty much it's impossible for you to blow without money. Mm. 
and I'll say this, impossible. Where was, when was the last, anyone in the audience, when, who was the last grass to grace story in music that you can point out within the last five years? Show me one person. Name one artist, I'm just taken. You, you don't have to raise your hand, just, I just need the name. Portable, that's not an artist. <laughs> <laughs> I know, just give me, give me a name, give me a name. Grass to Grace. Charlie Poppy, okay, cool. Hello, okay, cool, that's a good name. Okay, that's a good name. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a bunch of names that would look really cool. Attention, please. Attention, please. One Attention, house. please. One house. One house. I know we have a lot of portable fans here. But yes, please, Zazuze. <laughs> Okay, so you see Charlie Poppy, when you see any artist that's blown, look, don't look at the artist, look at the money back behind the artist. Exactly. And Afrobeast to the, what Afrobeast to the World did to us is, Afrobeast to the World created an elite class of people who can access these dollars, and if you, get, if you don't have access to it, it's harder for you to blow now. So mm -hmm. everything is paid for, everything is funneled, everything is centralized, all the channels are centralized. And so it's the same channels everybody uses now to push music. You're still going to, you're still going to use the same set of influencers across all, all social media platforms. Yeah. You're still going to go to radio, you go to TV, you go to DJs, and if you're going to activate um, micro communities in other states, you, it's still the same set of people. And to work one single in this market is at least 25 to 30 million if you want to do it right. 25 to 30 million. Did you hear that? Good. <laughs> yes. I need to tell them. Yes. So, so to, work, to, work, to work one single in this market, 25 to 30 million, and, and you're not sure you're going to blow. I know people who have done five of these things. They've got 25 to 30 million, five times for five singles, and none of them have popped. If they bought a the land, they would have sold it. Yeah, and it, 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 your land will not hang on Apple Music with no streams. It'll go. And so, Charlie Poppy had Dapper. Odumodu Black did this for 10 years, doing the same thing. And nothing happened until the people at um, Native, Native. With, with funding from Def Jam, yeah. put, their money, yeah, put their money on him. It's Def Jam's money that blew him. After 10 years of doing this same thing, uh, think of the artists who had blown before. Ashake, of course, Ashake's story is extremely storied in its history in this, in this industry. Until he found money from Empire and YBNL before it popped. Uh, Omale, Valo, and Masha, they did, they, they did that for him. So every artist you've seen, is a, you see, is an artist that has been planted by extremely heavy funding. funding. Extremely, even the ones you think, and the funny thing is, even the ones you think are unsigned, the ones who pretty much might go viral on social media because they have one video or the other that maybe they did a freestyle or they did something and it gets a bit of attention. Do you think those things are not paid for? Do you know, just because they haven't announced that artist yet, do you know those things that a lot of them have been signed but they've just not announced? And so that's how they're feeding them or seeding them into the space and feeding them into your, into your conscious and your subconscious. So eventually a single would drop and you'd be like, ah, now this guy will be in the pop. The guy has been signed for the last two years. It's, it's the game. So, um, so now what will, what will artists do? What look will for someone money? like me now, artists like me that don't have that, don't have money, that I'm struggling, what should I do differently? Well, you're playing, a, you're playing a game that is extremely rigged against you. What you can do differently is put, put your best foot forward until you find someone to put money on you. Do you hear that? Yeah, that's the first step of everything you're doing. Your first, your first hustle is not to blow. Your first hustle is to find the person that will give you the funding to blow you. That's your. That's